All right, here we have a coin from Greece. Just a tiny little thing. If I zoom out, see how tiny he is? Just a little one. But we'll zoom it up so you can see the details really nice. Okay, you can see right here. There you go. That way you can see the writing. I know this matters to coin collectors an awful lot. So I wanted to make sure you saw the details of it all. All right. Now let's flip it over so you can see it all. There you go. There is a B. Look at that. A B, 1926. Alright, nice patine. Looks pretty good. Not too worn out, huh? A little more worn out on the other side, but there's always one side that gets rubbed a little bit more than the other. Alright, hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. Check the description out in this video. I have three books I've written myself out for sale. Grab those ISBNs, get yourself a good read. Two are true story, the other one's a craft. Alright, be sure to share this video with other coin collectors or people who just enjoy looking at old coins. They're nice, old coins from other countries. It's always cute to see what they have. Alright, bye bye now. Alright, here's another five here. This is a Panama coin. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all the stars on there. Nine stars. One, two, three. Yeah, nine stars. Very nice. Now you want to see what year it is? There we go. A 1929. Republica de Panama. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. The eagle so beautifully. Again with the nine stars on the front side too. Beautiful looking coin. Alright, hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to share it with other coin collectors. Let them see the beauty of this coin. And be sure to check out my description in the video as I have three books that I've written myself out for sale. Two are true story and one is a craft book for teachers or groups and organizations. You can collect the ISBN numbers and get them at your favorite bookstore. Alright, hope you've enjoyed it. Bye bye now. Alright, here we have an Italian coin. Look at the details of that. It's funny how they went really in for the top of his head like that. Beautiful. Still see all the details. And this is 1925. This is an old coin. show you the back side. Look at this. Very interesting. 1925. What's a little number before that? No, that's just a little mark. Kind of wondered what that was. Just a little mark before the 1925. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's a real nice one. Really like this one. Okay, if you see on the right hand corner in the bottom, it has an R. It's a C50. A little R there. Hmm. Wonder what that R means. 
you happen to know. By all means, leave it in a comment. Be nice. I'm just sitting there watching over the lions. Hmm. That's something. Alright. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And by all means, share this video with other coin collectors. Or others who just like looking at the old coins. The 1925. Kind of cool. Alright. Bye bye now. Alright, look at this one. Nicely designed. I like how the old coins have beautiful designs to them. Nice style. They really took the time to think about that. And it's always nice to look at coins from other countries. Here's 50 centavos. Very nice condition. You can see a little bit of the patine and everything. And then, there's the front side. It's a 1928 Portugal or Portuguese. Very nice. Oh, let's see. What do we got here? Extra little writings here. That might mean something to someone. Especially the coin collectors. So I hope you can see that good. There you go. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. By all means, share the video with others. It's always nice to share. All right. Bye-bye now. Okay, we have a mixed variety of coins in this batch here, but this one is the most interesting. This is Magyar 1926 coin. Look at that. Isn't that just an interesting one? How they used to design them and make them and stuff like that. That is so cool. Really nice. Different for sure. Alright. So we'll come back to that one and stuff. So let me show you some of the other ones we have. Okay, we have this one here, this German coin. I'm going to flip them right over and here's a 50. 1971. And we have this one. 1957, and here's a 2. hammer coming out of it. Different, that's for sure. Then we have this one, Piso, and it's a one. Well, that's rather interesting, and look how it's not completely round. Look how it's shaped. Believe it or not, it's a 1992. Not so old to look so unique. Which is kind of cool. Okay, then we have this one here. Double head one. Two different men. That's a 1986 Dominicana coin. Oops. And we have an ore coin. 
What I find very unique about this coin is the fact that there's a picture of his face and absolutely nothing written on this side. So if that's supposed to be like that, please leave it in a comment. If it's an error, by all means leave it in a comment. I definitely want to know if I have a coin that's an error. That'd be interesting to find. All right. There you go. I can see it better this way. Always try to find. See how there's absolutely nothing at all written on this side? I would think the guy's name or something would be on this side. But there's nothing. So I don't know if they make them that way there. If they do, let me know. If they don't, definitely let me know. All right. Okay. We have a Norge one. Beautiful horse. Love that. Let's see. They say right something on there. Actually, it pretty much looks like the same guy, huh? There is nothing written on his. It does kind of look like the same guy. But that one's got something. All right. So let me know. Now that I've seen that, I'm dying of curiosity. Huh. Okay, then we have a 1985. 20 from Brazil. Oh, Brazil, if we put it this way, then the picture's going the wrong way. So I guess we want it this way. There you go. Same with this one. Also a 20, 1984. Okay, then we got this little one here have no idea what coin this is. So if you know what coin this is, please leave it in a comment. Doesn't really give me too much information. Okay, and this one's the same. A little different in the design. And that one's a. I don't know if it's supposed to be a four, and that's supposed to be a five. I'm not sure. Interesting sometimes. It's a 2001. And that's just a one. And of course, we're back to our one we showed you at the very beginning. The 1926. So beautiful. And this is the back side of it. It has a 10 filler. So this one here is the interesting one that we definitely want to learn a little bit more about. Learn the value of it, which is definitely interesting. So by all means, please share this with coin collectors. We'll have a more general idea of the value of such a coin from Magyar. And uh, leave whatever you learn in the comment. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more, whatever we find. Bye-bye now. Alright, here we have a 1925 American Quarter. A little bit warm, but look how they made them. See the nice design of the stars right there? Coming down the bottom. And God, and then we trust on that side. Just to see all the stars on the side like that. Very elegant looking, isn't it? And 
1925. And then on this side here, United States of America, quarter dollar. And here we have some more stars. Of course, with our eagle. Isn't that nice, huh? Interesting to find a whole bunch of coins. And just to look at them, they're just different than what we normally see. So I bring them to you in video form here. So you can see how they made the coins in our history. Very nice, huh? Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to share this video with others who enjoy looking at the old coins to see how they designed them back then. Alright, bye-bye now. Alright, here we have a super old grease coin. Look at that. I seem to have right there. The name of probably the one who created the design for this coin. Isn't that something? Now let's check out to see how old it is. All right, it's a 1926 and it's a 10. Ain't that something, huh? Great old one. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing it to you. It's got nice patine. All the letters on it are really nice, so it's not super worn. Front's a little bit worn, but these are pretty good. All right. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And we'll bring you some more good old coins. All right. Bye-bye now. All right, look at this one. This one's one of my old ones. This is a 1924 chili coin. But before we get to this one here, let me take you through the others that we have. We don't have too many from Chile, but we do have a few. And we have this one here. Yeah, you can hear the rooster. It's telling everyone, get up. It's time to wake up this morning. All right, and this is an one. And it is a 1989 piso. And we have this one here. Look at this. Beautiful one. And this one's also... A1 Piso, 1975. Now this one here, look at the design of this one. Ten-sided coin, which is really, really different. Just couldn't quite make it round. Very nice, very distinguished. And this one is a 50. 50 pesos. It's a 1989. Okay, and then of course we have this one here. I mean, look at the, the patine of it all to begin with. I believe it's all silver, not sure. Look at that. Beautiful coin. I have to make sure you know the year of this one. Here we go, right here. There's a 20. And it's 1924. It's 
got an S on top. And that's something, huh? Look at the design at the bottom right there. So beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and by all means, pass this video around to other coin collectors. Let them see what I got here. Because this one here is a good one. Alright. Bye bye now. Alright. Here we have an Imperial coin. And this is a 1922. Here we have one side of it. Kind of cool. Very worn out for 1922, but you know, that's the way it is. The roll, the roll, that's it. And here we go. As you can see right there, 1922. And it's a five cents. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend as we have some more old coins to show you. All right. Alrighty. Nineteen twenty two. Bye bye now. All right, today we have a collection of Oriental coins. Some really cool ones to be looking at. Look at this one. A 1922. Wow. That's a nice one. But let's get back to all of them. And we'll start at the very beginning. Starting with this one here. side. It's a 10. I can't read the writing so I can't tell you what year it is. Here we have another one. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, another 10. Ah, this one has a year, 2001, so that's not an old one at all. Oh, look at this one. This is beautiful. Got it upside down. Right? I keep turning it. There we go, so the swords are right. That is nice. A lot of design and a lot of something on it. Just beautiful. All right. And this is a 10. And we have this one here. Really nice. 
I've seen this in a lot of postcards. This picture. Also A10. This one starts right off by being a 10. Let's see what we have on the other side. Ah, just like the other one. May just be a different year. And we have this one again. Ah. Have a lot of tens, don't I? All right, now this doesn't really say thirteen eighty eight, does it? Huh? Can that really be possible? Is that the year or is that something about it? If any of you know, please leave it in a comment because <coughs> excuse me. That would be really surprising to see a thirteen eighty eight coin. That must be something about it. I can't believe it'd be a thirteen eighty eight coin. really be something if it was, wouldn't it? That's interesting. All right, then we have this one here, the flower. Okay, then we go down to this one here. I guess it goes this way. Then we have another one. Just different years though. I don't know, I can't. I don't read the writing. Sorry. I found this one to be just so pretty. 1922. It's beautiful. And it's a 50. All right, now the one I want to know about is this one. Very interesting coin. All right, if you know anything about this one, why that would say 1388. It really has me puzzled. I can't imagine that's the year. Maybe not because there's also um, a six right there too. So it must be numbers or something. It looks like a six. Well, maybe it's not a six. Huh, I think it is. I don't know. If you know something about this coin, by all means. Leave it in a comment. And my other interesting one is this one here. It's 
so beautiful. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing you these. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more old coins or just variety of coins from around the world. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Here we have a 1922 Commence Industry coin. Look at that. It's in here, so I'm going to leave it in here. Excellent condition. Look at that. For 1922 coin. That is really good. Get to see a lot of the details. Isn't that something? I'm taking a minute just to see it all. Hope you're doing the same. It's a 1922. Look at all the details. Very nice. Alright, let's flip it over and see what we have on the other side. Okay, the other side just says 50. So that way there you get to see the whole condition of the coin. Very good condition. Look at that. Very nice. Someone kept it really good. Alright, and we'll continue to keep it good. Because we're going to leave it in its little wrap. Alright. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And by all means, share this video with coin collectors or coin dealers. Alright. Bye-bye. Alright. Here we're bringing you some Francaise coins starting with this one here look at that beautiful 1923 what a beautiful work of art isn't that neat i love it beautiful all right let's show you the other side of that one And there you have it. That's it to that one, huh? Isn't that beautiful? All right, then we have this one here. Very nice. Now, this one here, you can see some of the writing right there on the side. I don't know how well you can see. Maybe I should pick it up. See if maybe you can see a little bit better with the lighting here. There you go. And this one here. It's a 10. Uh, says, and it's a 1952. Look at that. Got themselves a nice little rooster. How do you like that, huh? This one here I'm flipping back over because I just love the look at that one. It's beautiful. Okay, and we have this one here. 1955. I can see so much better when you just get up close like this. All right, that's what we'll do with them. 1955. Ooh, look how elegant the back is. Beautiful. 1963. Just as elegant. And this one is A57 in silver. And this one's a five. Ooh, 
And this is a regular process, the way you would turn around and see it on the stamps. Got numbers here at the bottom. Huh, letters. Hooray. Something underneath there. All right. That's 1966. And we have this one here. Beautiful. And these two are both 1950s. That's one side of it. And this is the back side. Now these two, look at this. They're different in size. Different in the shininess of the golds, that's for sure. And they're both the same year. Okay. This is 820. And this one here is 810. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more coins from around the world. Bye bye now. Alright, look at this one here. Almost looks like a double eagle. One here and one here. Double eagle coin. Look at that with all the stars. Very nice. This is a Columbia coin. It does, don't it? Double eagle. It's almost like the reflection of the top eagle onto the bottom. Different, isn't it? Huh. All right, and this is the front side. It's a 1956. Republica de Colombia. All right, hope you've enjoyed my bringing it to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. We'll bring you some more. Bye-bye now. Okay, here we have a 1922 crown hat coin. Oh, can you see the crown on it? Different, see 1922, just perfect on it. Let's see, maybe if I pick it up. Let's see if I see the crown. There you go, just like that. It's a crown. Twenty two crown. I can't make out the words because it's not English. And this is the back sign silver coin ten I guess it's supposed to be like a 10 cents. That's definitely silver. Very light, light coin. Alright. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend and share this unique looking kind of coin with others who like collecting coins. Alright, bye bye now. Oh, look at this one. Very Roman looking, isn't it? It's a 1921 Fairthing coin. 
Look at that. That's a lot that went into this coin. I mean, you know, not only is he sitting. Huh. Very nice. I wonder if it, you know, where they have it right there, the sword, if that's supposed to be a W to go with it or not. Probably not, huh? I've never seen such a beautiful coin. Look at that. That is neat. What the designs they had on some of the old coins. Isn't that great? Really nice. Alright, and this is the other side. Alright. Jorvigets. I could not pronounce all of that. But not bad shape, huh? Pretty good. Just old. Vintage, I mean 1921. That's that's pretty old. 96 years old. To still have all the details. I mean, you've got the details of his ears and, you know, the mustache, the eyes, the nose. Especially to have the ears like that, to still have all the, the details of the coin. That's pretty good. Great job. It's a good find. Definitely a good find. Probably still needs a little bit of cleaning up, but that's for the experts or whoever ends up with it. They want to clean it up, they can. Look at that. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and share these old coins with other coin collectors so they can see. Alright, old people just want to look at the old stuff. That's what my channel is all about. Bye bye now. Alright, here we have a very unusual looking kind of coin. It's got a cow on it. Of a long neck though. I mean the body itself is definitely a cow. But the neck is really different. I have no idea what this writing is. But look at this. If you put it right side up. Here you've got. I guess the sun and the moon. And it looks like it says. 2028 which hasn't happened. So, I'm looking for someone to tell me anything about this coin that you possibly could tell me. It's definitely different. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean or where it comes from. So if any of you out there know, by all means, leave it in a comment. It's definitely an interesting one. Alright, bye bye now. All right, here we happen to have a one loop coin. Look at that. Really nice condition. Beautiful. Just enough patine to bring it out more. Very nice. Now you're going to love the other side. Look at that. It's a 1924 Romania coin. Look at that. A lot of little details to make in this coin. Six stars. Really nice. Can you imagine the artist that had to make the plate for this? Very detailed. Great job. You know, coins and stamps and stuff, they're all artwork. A lot of people don't look at the old artwork like this. They don't think of coin as being an art. But this is beautiful. Alright, hope you've enjoyed my bringing it to you. If 
by all means, pass it along to coin collectors. Let them see some of this beautiful stuff. Just enough patine to bring it out. All right. Bye-bye now. All right. Here we have a nice Italia, Italian coin. Look at that. Definitely shows the patine, but still very nicely designed. It still has everything it needs to have. Very beautiful. Very detailed. All right, let's take a look at the other side here. Pretty simple. It's a 1922 C.5. You notice at the bottom, right down there, there's an R. I know the coin collectors, all these extra little markings can make a big difference. So this one's got an R. Alright. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. And as always, share the video. It's nice to see coins from other country. See how they designed them back in the days. Alright, bye-bye now. Alright, here we have a beautiful old coin. This is from Romania. Look at the beautiful design in the back. It's a two Lee. Nice. Alright, now look at this. Isn't that beautiful? A 1924 six star Romania coin. Beautiful. Look at the patine on it and everything. A little bit worn, but really good. All the details are there. Beautiful coin. Pretty good thickness. Meant to last. Made out of the good material. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this one to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. By all means, share it with others. And check my description for three of the books that I've written myself. That are up for sale. Got the ISBN numbers, so you can get it at your favorite bookstore. Two are true stories, and one is a craft book for K through six for teachers. All right, bye bye now. All right, here we have a Victorial coin. Rather nice. It's got all its patine to it. And it happens to be a five cents 1922 coin. Notice at the bottom there's an R right there. If you've enjoyed my bringing it to you, be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and as always, share. Alright, look at this one. A 1923. At 50 cents. I don't know where the T is, but cent. Look at that. Beautiful, 1923. Nice. What I really like is the front. Look at that one. From Belgium. Isn't that a nice old coin, huh? A 1923. Beautiful.
wonder how they decide what to put on a coin. You know, way back then, a lot of history goes into it. Of course, it's artwork to begin with. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing it to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. Bye-bye. Alright, here we have a two franc Belgi coin. This is also a 1923 coin, only this one's a big one. And this is the front side of it. And then, of course, the back side. 1923. Bon Two francs. Really good condition. You know, for a 1923 coin. Nice patine. Great condition. Alright. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And we'll bring you some more. Alrighty. Bye-bye. All right, here's a coin from Greece. Look at that. Really neat, ain't they? A little extra stuff written right here on the side. Isn't that nice? Beautiful one. And this is the other side. 1926. Cool. It's always nice to look at the old coins. Kind of like it. Alright. Be sure to sub me now. Join me as a friend. And as always, share. Bye bye. Alright. Here we have a very nice coin here. This is a 1926 Greece. Coin. Coin from Greece. Beautiful. This is the back side. I'll let you know it's a 1926. And this is the front side. Look how simple that front side is. Looks like there's a little bit of some writing right there. All these little things like that make a difference to a coin collector. So you gotta pay attention to the little details. All right. What an interesting headpiece, huh? Look, it's got a handle on it. Isn't that something? Alright, hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more. They're just interesting coins to look at. Of course, you can always send it to any coin collectors or coin dealers, whoever you wish to send it to. Let them see some of these beautiful collections. Alright, bye-bye now. All right, here we have a tiny little one. Just a small coin. It's a 25 ore. Notice at the bottom right there. Looks like a little G. The, all those little markings like that make a difference to a coin collector. So this one's got a little G on it. Okay, so this is one side of the coin, the back side. I'll let me show you the front side. And there we go, a 1930. Look at that, and the way they arrange the crowns makes it look like two eyes and a nose with a mouth. <laughs> Isn't that cute? 
That is so cute. Make it look like it's got its eyes closed and a little round mouth. Top of the crown looks like the eyelashes of the eyebrows. That is so funny. I wonder if they thought of that when they were making this coin. I mean, I'm looking at it and that's what I'm thinking. Wouldn't that be something? If they really did, I mean, look at the shape of everything. It's using your imagination and seeing something different than maybe was intended. Kind of cool looking, isn't it? I like it. It's a conversation piece, that's what it is. All right. Pass it along to others, see what they think, just by looking at it. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed my bringing this to you. It's definitely different than some of the other coins that I have. Join me as a friend, and by all means, share this with others. Share it with coin collectors, see what they think. That'd be interesting to get a professional view of it. It is cute. Alright, bye-bye now.